Ireland Tour of the West Indies Statistics Preview Stay tuned So Ireland are set to tour the Caribbean between January 8th to January 16, 2022 for three ODIs and one T20 in Kingston, Jamaica, where at Sabina Park. Now, let's go ahead and look at the head-to-head -head encounters in ODI cricket. So West Indies and Ireland, they've played each other 12 times between 2007 to 2020, where West Indies have won 10 games. That's 83% of the times West Indies winning. And Ireland have won only one solitary game, and there was a one no result game. So clearly West Indies would start favourites. However, Ireland did shock West Indies in the 2015 Cricket World Cup, which is the only time that they've ever beaten West Indies. Just to take a trip down memory lane to encourage those Irish fans, West Indies had posted 304 for 7 from 50 overs where Lendl Simmons had that magnificent century, but then Ireland chased it down in 45.5 overs. Paul Sterling, Ed Joyce and Niall O'Brien playing some magnificent innings to ensure the Irish open their World Cup account with a victory. However, the West Indies have been dominating the Irish in ODI cricket, where West Indies have won the last five encounters played against the Irish. Let's backtrack to the last ODI series. West Indies did beat the Irish 3-0 when the Irish came to the Caribbean in 2020 before the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. So in the first game, Ireland made 180. They were bamboozled by the brilliance of Hayden Walsh who took 4 for 36. And then Evan Lewis had an unbeaten 99 to ensure that West Indies cruised the victory. In the second ODI, which was a much closer encounter, Ireland had posted 237 for 9. But a brilliant, a brilliant, brilliant batting display by Hayden Walsh. And of course, Sheldon Cotterell, the man who hit that second to last delivery to 6 to ensure that West Indies won the nail biter. In the third ODI, Ireland were bowled out for 203. The brilliant Alzari Joseph pricking up 4 for 32 and then Evan Lewis yet again. A century this time in the third ODI to ensure that West Indies clean sweep the Irish in the ODI series. Wow. And West Indies even have better memories against the Irish. If we are to backtrack to the 2019 tri-series between Ireland, West Indies and Bangladesh, John Campbell and Shea Hope Magic. 365 run opening stand between Campbell and Hope which is the record of all opening stands in, in international cricket. Beautiful stuff. West Indies beating the Irish by 196 runs. So let's go on to the squads for the series. So the squad that West Indies have announced will be led by Captain Kyron Pollard, Vice Captain Shea Hope, Shamar Brooks, Justin Greaves, Jason Holder, Akil Hossein, Alzari Joseph, Godakesh Moti, Nicholas Puran, Jaden Seals, Romario Shepard, Odin Smith, and Devon Thomas. Now, no squad has been announced for the Irish as yet due to the COVID 19 breakout which took place in the T20 series in their tour of the United States of America. Starting with the Irish batting, you cannot look past this man, Andy. Balburni. In the last series against South Africa, Balburni averaged 58, scoring 174 runs, 150, 1 century. The leading run scorer in that series where Ireland drew one all with South Africa. Yes, Andy Balburni. Andy Balburni, he is the key for the Irish batting. And if you look at his numbers against West Indies, Decent numbers against West Indies, averaging nearly 40 with 150 and 1 century. So definitely Balburnie the man to lead the way for the Irish with the bat. Another player to look out for is young Curtis Camphor. Curtis Camphor in 9 matches so far have scored 300 plus runs averaging 51. He scored 450s with a best of 68. Camphor 
he allows guys like Paul Sterling, Harry Tector and Kevin O'Brien if he's playing to just explode at the top and throw the middle of the innings. So Kiamfa and Balburnie to hold the innings together for the Irish. Players to watch out for in the series for West Indies in the batting department. Of course, you cannot look past this man, Shea Diego Hope. Shea Hope, he's been prolific in ODI. Don't look at his recent form in the test series against Sri Lanka. Just look at his ODI numbers, his career averaging 52.9. Remember, he's one of the fastest to 3,000 ODI runs. And look at his last six games. 382 runs averaging nearly 64 against the Irish Shea Hope will want to lay another landmark against the Irish as he has that brilliant 170 against Ireland in that record-breaking partnership with John Campbell but he hasn't really done much against the Irish since then there's also an interesting statistics that have shown that West Indies have been bowled out inside their 50 overs 91% of the time if Hope is dismissed before 6 over when he opens and Shea Hope has opened the batting 28 times for West Indies so it shows that if you can get Shea Hope very early in the innings West Indies are very susceptible to being bowled out without batting out their complete quota of overs so Shea Hope definitely the man to watch out for the next player with the bat is of course skipper Kyron Pollard Karen Pollard is returning to West Indies squad since that hamstring injury at the end of the T20 World Cup and Pollard will be keen to make a wonderful return where in his last 7 ODI matches he scored 186 runs averaging 37 and strike rate of 98.4 but what I want you to look at is Pollard's impact against Ireland in the 4 games he's played against the Irish 134 runs averaging 67 and strike rate 152 what that means is that pollard is going to terrorize the irish in the back end of the innings if he's still in that magnificent form that he showed in the last seven games in the bowling department for ireland you cannot look past simi singh simi singh the irish off spinner was their lead spinner against west indies the last time around the irish were in the caribbean where Simi Singh picked up six wickets and his economy, that's the best thing about him. He creates so much pressure from one end of the innings. An economy of 4.03, the best among all the Irish bowlers that came to the Caribbean last time around. Ireland will be depending heavily on Simi Singh to have a similar impact here, this time around in the Caribbean again. Wow. And then we all know West Indies, Nemesis left arm swing and seam bowling west indies have struggled a little bit in odi against the likes of trent bolt stark david willie and even khalil ahmed of india and so of course it cannot look past joshua little joshua little in his career so far has played 16 matches picked up 27 wickets at an economy of 5.7 but just being a left arm bowler he might be the x factor bowler to help the Irish if they are to upset the Caribbean men. In the bowling department for West Indies, of course you have to start with Alzari Joseph. As the last time around, the Irish were here, Alzari picked up 8 wickets at an economy of 3.37, averaging 12.6. Some sensational numbers for Alzari against the Irish and so of course he will have to lead the seam attack. And another key bowler for West Indies in this series to look out for is Akil Hossein. Akil Hossein who's young to ODI cricket, only 9 matches, 14 wickets but already look at his economy, 3.97. And his ODI career has only just started, playing against some of the toughest oppositions, the Pakistan, the Australia, the South Africa, the Sri Lanka and Hossein has pretty good numbers. Akil Hossein has been the Caribbean's best spinner in the recently concluded Caribbean Premier League and also he was their leading wicket taker in the World Cup for 2021. Definitely, definitely Akil will want to lay his mark in this series. Now the conditions at Sabina Park, we have to talk about that as well. 
So at Sabina Park, the average first inning score is just about 233. And for teams that are chasing, they generally average 200. Now batting first, 14 teams have won batting first and 22 teams have won chasing. There's been two no result. The highest score at Sabina Park, that 349 by Pakistan versus Zimbabwe in the 2007 ICC World Cup. And the lowest total is 99. The highest score, chase down 255. That was South Africa against the West Indies right here. And the lowest score defended was 198 that West Indies defended against India back in 2006. Now, Sabina Park is also very SEMA friendly conditions. If you're looking right here at bowling type and their average and economy, you see that the quicks do the heavy lifting. Averaging less than 30, only fast bowlers at Sabina Park per wicket. And so definitely, you may want to consider going in with a 4-2, four, 4 seamers and 2 spinners if you're going in with 6 bowlers into a game. And so, looking at the numbers, you definitely can see that left arm orthodox, they have the best economy. So they're good at doing a holding job. But you generally want to start four quicks here at Sabina Park. So the tactics, generally the tactic should be any captain that win the toss, bowl first and try to restrict the opposition below 230. Generally, most of the games are won by chasing, remember 22 out of the 38 games. So restrict the opposition below 230 and you should be looking at an 84% chance of already winning. Ireland, we should be seeing William Porterfield and Paul Sterling opening the batting if Porterfield have recovered. Andy Balburn, the captain at 3, Harry Tector at 4, Curtis Camper at 5, their wicketkeeper Mr. Tucker at 6, George Dockrell, the left arm spinner at 7, Simi Singh 8, Mark Adair, Craig Young and Joshua Little to complete their seam attack. In picking this 11, we have to bear in mind that Kevin O'Brien, who wasn't a part of the ODI series against South Africa, and their previous ODI series before that, so we're not sure about the news with Kevin O'Brien. But if Kevin O'Brien is well, you should be seeing Kevin O'Brien in the starting lineup. With regards to West Indies starting 11, we should be seeing debutant Justin Greaves opening the batting with the absence of Evan Lewis. West Indies ODI run machine Shea Hope, Shamar Brooks at 3, Puran at 4, Rustin Chase at 5, Skipper Kyron Pollard at 6, Jason Hall at 7, Alzari Joseph at 8, and who could be seeing a completely new seam attack with Odin Smith and Jaden Seals getting ODI debut and Akil Hussain.